Hi viewers, welcome to my class on mechanics of materials. In today's class, we will continue to work out some numerical examples on thick cylinder. Let us work out a first example. A thick cylinder 340 mm internal diameter and 600 mm external diameter has to withstand an internal fluid pressure 65 MPa. Find the minimum external pressure required if the maximum tensile stress induced in the cylinder is limited to 82 MPa. Plot the variation of hope stress and pressure across the cylinder walls. So internal and external diameters are given. So internal diameter is 340 mm, external diameter is 600 mm. Internal fluid pressure is given 65 megapascal. Now the maximum tensile stress induced in the cylinder is limited to 82 megapascal. So maximum tensile stress means it has to be inside hoop stress. We know that inner walls are subjected to maximum stress and that is maximum hoop stress. So maximum hoop stress if you limit to 82 megapascal, all other stresses will be less than 82 megapascal because outside hoop stress is always less than the inside hoop stress and longitudinal stress is always less than the hoop stress. Okay, so you can limit the maximum hoop stress to 82 megapascal. So radial pressure is compressive and also the radial pressure is less than the hoop stress. Sigma C is PR plus 2A, so PR is always less than Sigma C and that is compressive. So maximum tensile stress, here maximum tensile stress is limited to 82 MPa. So a maximum hoop stress you can limit to 82 MPa. So inside radius you can calculate 340 by 2 or 170 mm and the outside radius is 600 by 2 which will give 300 mm and inside pressure is 50 mega pascal maximum hope stress is given 82 mega pascal sigma max okay now you are asked to find out the external pressure so external pressure is not zero here we have uh, sufficient data inside pressure is given inside the uh, hope stress is given so pressure value, one pressure value and one hope stress value is known. So we have two equations for this and two unknowns you can solve, for A and B you can solve. You don't need any additional data. Okay. We know for a thick cylinder, the inside pressure is B by R square minus A and hope stress is B by R square plus A. Now we know one of the pressure that is inside pressure we know. So when R is Ri, we know the pressure and also we know the inside hoop stress where that is when R is equal to Ri, we know the inside hoop stress which is the maximum hoop stress. So one equation you can use this inside radius corresponding inside radius we know the pressure and corresponding inside radius we know the hoop stress. So you get one equation on pressure and one equation on hope stress. So those two equations you can solve to find out A and B. So using this pressure equation when R is equal to Ri that is 170 mm we know the pressure as 65. So 65 is B by 170 square minus A and also we know uh, when maximum hope stress is 82 mega Pascal. So when R is equal to 170 mm the hoop stress is 82. So when inside hoop stress is 82 mega Pascal when R is equal to 170 mm. So substituting it as 82, the hoop stress is 82 when radius is 170, you will get another equation. Now you have one equation on pressure, another equation on hoop stress. Now pressure equation you have minus sign here and the hoop stress equation you have plus sign. So if you add these two equations, A will get cancelled and you will get an expression for B. So adding this 1 and 2, 1 and 2, so 82 plus 65, you will get 147, 
is equal to uh, both you have b by 170 square okay in the previous equation also you have b by 170 square uh, minus a you had you now this is b by 170 square plus a so if you add this you will get 2b by 170 square minus a plus a cancels so from this you can solve for b so b is 2124150 so this is a value of b now substituting this value of b in any one of the equation either this or uh, first equation you can substitute and solve for a and which will give the value of a as 8.5 so these are the values of a and b now after, once you get a and b you can find out the hoop stress or radial pressure at any radius r now outside hoop stress inside hoop stress is already known 82 mega pascal it's given so outside hoop stress you can calculate using equation b by r square plus a and uh, when r is equal to r not outside uh, radius that is 300 mm you will get the hope stress as 32.102 mega pascal so substituting in that hope stress equation you um, get the uh, hope stress as 32.102 mega pascal now outside pressure you can calculate using the equation b by r square minus a okay uh, b is known a is known uh, outside uh, radius is 300 so substituting that you will get the uh, outside pressure as 15.102 mega pascal you can also find out outside pressure once you know uh, one of the like outside hoop stress is known you can find out outside pressure pressure plus 2a will give hoop stress or hoop stress minus 2a will give the pressure so this minus 2a a is 8.5 so this minus 2a 2a means 17 so if you subtract from this 17 you get 15.102 so that way also you can calculate the radial pressure at any point so at any radius if you know the pressure you can find out the hoop stress uh, if you know the hoop stress you can find out the radial pressure provided you know the value of a now let us plot the variation of uh, hoop stress and radial pressure so on inside radius is 170 corresponding to that inside radius you have hoop stress as 82 mega pascal and we also obtain the uh, hoop stress on the outer surface as 32.102 mega pascal so this is a variation of hoop stress you plot a curve so it's a variation of hoop stress it's a parabolic variation for hoop stress and inside pressure we know it is 65 external pressure we have calculated as 15.102 mega pascal so you can plot the variation of radial pressure uh, across the cylinder wall so this gives the variation of hope stress and radial pressure across the thickness of the cylinder wall let us work out another example a thick cylinder of internal diameter 160 mm is subjected to an internal uh, pressure 40 newton per mm square if the allowable stress in the material is 120 newton per mm square find the required wall thickness of the cylinder so here you are uh, given the internal pressure and maximum allowable stress maximum allowable stress again it is a uh, inside hoop stress so inside pressure is known and uh, inside hoop stress is known in internal diameter it's given but here external diameter is not known external diameter is unknown diameter is 160 so inside radius is 80 mm inside pressure is 40 newton per mm square allowable stress is 120 newton per mm square so this is a maximum hoop stress or uh, sigma c on the inner walls outside pressure uh, you can take it as zero okay so without that uh, we cannot solve it even though we know two values uh, one one pressure and one stress uh, we don't know the outside radius because we are asked to find out the wall thickness so outside ra uh, radius is not known uh, so there is another unknown outside radius so 
to get that we need to take the external pressure as zero so without that uh, assumption we cannot solve in case external pressure is not given and if it's essential to solve the problem you can take the external pressure as zero so uh, we know the pressure equation and uh, hoop stress equation for a thick cylinder now we can substitute one of the values of pressure inside pressure is known 40 mega pascal when r is equal to 80 so 40 is equal to b by 80 square minus a and also we know the hoop stress inside 120 when r is equal to 80 so 120 is equal to b by 80 square plus a so these two equations you can solve to find out b and a so just add these two equations because it's in minus this is a pressure equation so it's minus it's hope stress equation which gives plus so you can add these two so 40 plus 120 160 is equal to 2b by 80 square minus a plus a cancels so you get 160 is equal to 2b by 80 square or b as 512,000 now once you get the B you substitute any one of the equation 1 or 2 which you can solve for A so substituting the value of B in a, either equation 1 or equation 2 you will get the value of A so after getting the value of A you can use the pressure equation to find out the because we assume that external pressure is zero and to find out the radius r naught, you can use that uh, pressure equation. B and A is known now. Uh, external pressure we assumed as zero. Now you can find out r naught. So substituting for B, 512,000 divided by r naught square minus A was 40. You get uh, r naught as 113.14 mm. So this is the external radius uh, required for uh, a pressure uh, zero on the external surface okay so if you are keeping the external radius as 113.14 the external pressure will be zero when it is subjected to this internal fluid pressure 40 mega pascal and uh, ma maximum hoop stress is um, 120 mega pascal okay so you got the outside radius now thickness of the wall you can calculate its uh, thickness of the wall is r naught minus ri or 113.14 minus ri is 80 so which will give the thickness as 33.14 mm so the thickness of the cylinder should be 33.14 mm that's all for today thank you for watching